The Si Yan River fosters its surrounding environment while supporting the requirements of nearby settlements. It has been the source of Bislig City Water District to four barangays for over six decades. However, the river's waters now face many challenges from urbanization, agriculture, and industrialization. The appropriateness of water use for different purposes is determined by the quality of the water. The need to conduct investigations of our water resources in the city is urgent to produce relevant policies and mitigations for our precious waters. Thus, this research aimed to perform water quality assessment to potentially offer insights into its present state, potential vulnerabilities, and, most crucially, strategies for safeguarding its ecological and societal significance. The researchers thoroughly examined the 5-kilometer length portion of the Shan River's water quality in its physical, chemical, and biological parameters. Furthermore, this research highlighted the ripple effects of possible terrestrial activities on water quality and aquatic life. Quantitative water assessment with qualitative interpretations on the upstream, midstream, and downstream part of the river were made. The distance from upstream to midstream is about 3,450 meters, while midstream to downstream is approximately 1,500 meters. The water's physical, chemical and biological characteristics were analyzed and evaluated based on international standards. Samples was analyzed at DOST Caraga region. The water parameters were determined with their appropriate standard test, are as follows pH, is the measure of water acidity or alkalinity. 5-day biological oxygen demand, is the measure of the amount of oxygen consumed by microorganisms in water during the biological degradation of organic matter over a period of 5 days. Color is important as it indicates the source of water and pollutants that affects the taste and odor such as presence of iron manganese or other organic substances depending on the presence of the types of solid materials. Turbidity refers to the cloudiness or haziness of a liquid caused by presence of solid particles, such as clay, silt, organic matter, algae, or other microscopic particles, and is often used as a measure of the sanitary quality of the water. Chlorides. Both natural and artificial sources of chloride can be found in surface and groundwater, including runoff that contains de-icing salts from roads, the use of inorganic fertilizers, landfill leachates, septic tank effluents, animal feed, industrial effluents, irrigation drainage, and seawater intrusion in coastal areas. Total solids. Total solids are a measure of all the suspended, colloidal and dissolved solids in the water. Total suspended solids. The concentration of the suspended solids has a direct impact on water turbidity and on oxygen level productivity in freshwater systems. Conductivity and resistivity. The ability of a substance, like water, to carry electric current. Conductivity is positively correlated with temperature, meaning that when the temperature of water rises, its conductivity likewise increases. Total alkalinity refers to the quantitative measurement of a water's ability to neutralize acidity. Total hardness is a measurement of calcium and magnesium cations. The main issue with high levels of hardness is the buildup of scale on pipes and drains as well as affecting water flavor and the cleaning power of many soaps and detergents. Dissolved oxygen is a critical parameter in water quality assessment that measures the amount of oxygen gas dissolved in water as indication of a water body's overall health and quality which is vital for aquatic organism survival. Total coliform is a term used to describe a group of bacteria that are commonly found in the environment, including soil, water, and vegetation. These bacteria are used as indicators of water quality and the potential presence of harmful pathogens. Fecal coliform this indicates the level of contamination on water of fecal material of humans or other animals, including disease-causing bacteria, viruses, or parasites that can be transmitted through fecal matter. Findings revealed a favorable downward trend of pH, color, chlorides, and total solids, suggesting dilution and potential natural attenuation of pollutants as water travels downstream while dissolved oxygen increases downstream, indicating improved oxygenation levels. On the other hand, the entire tested stream have dangerous contamination levels of both fecal and total coliform, particularly upstream and downstream though there were considerable fall in both total and fecal coliform levels at the midstream. This study can serve as essential baseline information for ecosystem management and conservation efforts on the health of such ecosystems, including communities, plants, trees and other life forms, and river profile behind the phenomenon on the improvement of the water physiochemical parameters with attention to the possible reasons behind its contamination with total and fecal coliform. For further inquiries, please don't hesitate to contact us.